Welcome back everyone. Yesterday we finished pit number one, 8,000 bushels of corn. Today we're headed to the other farm and we're gonna finish Uncle Jeff's pit. We got 5,000 more bushels to put in there, crack it, pack it, and we'll be done. Hey, you're gonna put a hole in the tarp. That's cool. Hey Cole. Yeah. Do you think it'd be okay if I wish a happy birthday to a childhood friend this morning? Um, it'll cost you. I'd like to wish a special 53rd birthday to my dear friend Scooby-Doo this morning. Uh, he was a good friend of mine growing up. That sounds more like the water boy. And also, uh, Tom Petty, You're So Bad is the song of the day. Wow, that's close. Thank you. So we switched fields yesterday. We're on field number two. And that is another big reason why we like to do wet corn. Otherwise, this would kind of be a little bit slower time of the year, but we're able to make it busy and kind of spread out our busyness. Other than having a bunch of corn ready to harvest, we can get in the field early and get some acres done. We're gonna have one and a half of our smaller fields done already and harvest dry corn anyway, hasn't even started. Makes a lot of sense to me. Oh yeah, I could tell Dad checked the oil yesterday. It's on there kind of tight. Brought with me today a little bit of biofreeze. My bag doesn't feel good. Hasn't felt good for the last couple weeks. Some days it's better than others, but sometimes I'll be doing something and I just feel it start tensing up again. I don't know. We'll get it figured out someday when it's not so busy.
you getting sick of this? Man, me neither. I'm having a blast. Oh, look at that. Another truck coming down. We ain't finished with this one yet. Just starting load five, so there'll be two more after that. Pit's looking pretty nice, I'm liking it. I'm liking even more the fact that we're almost done. Look at all these flies. They love the sweet, juicy nectar. Well, that's new for me. Got it all cracked and packed. And the next truck isn't even here yet. There's five loads, two more to go. It's one o'clock. It's gonna be a few more hours. Oink. Well, there's five dollar. The last truck. Gonna need a beer or 40 after this. Just thinking about which sandwich I should grab from Storla Station after this. <sighs> Maybe one of each. It's going empty, yeah! That's a good feeling. And wait till you get a look at this. This probably the best pit I've ever done. Just got a nice gentle slope. Little low spot over there, but this is a good one. That's, uh, you know, if we ever get a rain again, it's definitely gonna drain down and get out of here. Not sit in there, not soak into the corn after we get that pit on, after we get that tarp on it. Dad and Uncle Jeff are headed over here with the tarp and we'll tarp it, throw tires on it and get the flock out of here. It's got some stank to it. Go. Wee.
the ceremonial last blow. <laughs> Build myself like a fillet. I did some damage the last three days. It's almost five o'clock. Gonna have some lunch and then come out. We got a couple things to button up. We're gonna bring the combine home, clean some stuff up, and then I'll have some supper after that. <laughs> So now we're done with these bolt-on duels. When we get a free minute, maybe tomorrow, we can take those off. Uh, we also plan on, probably tomorrow, we'll be tearing out a fence so we can put in a new fence, put some cows over on those corn stalks that we were harvesting yesterday, because they are running out of food. Last thing today, we're gonna bring the combine back home. We got a couple things to do to the header. Also, the machine needs greased, fueled, and as you can see, that auger is still sticking out because we have uh, issues with it. So Dad's gonna be pushing the button and I'm gonna be standing on the pickup to try to push that back in. Bunch of malarkey we gotta put up with. Uh, bunch of screwing around. We got both corn pits done next week, or later this week, we're gonna be doing some fencing. Next week, we're probably gonna be doing some dry corn harvest also we got to preg check our heifers we got 40 herfords to preg check and i think 70 or so black angus heifers to check make sure to leave a comment say you enjoyed the video or maybe you didn't enjoy the video let me know thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a good one honk it